Today we're gonna to be testing on day two. This is day two of testing. So pretty much we're running the same setup, but what we are going to do is run it once with the cat pack and once without. So pretty much we're gonna see the difference in the data log and we're gonna have a data log showing right after the two runs. So if that seems interesting, let's get right into it. I'll zero it out. Day two, test front number one. Same setup as 121 miles an hour. All clear. Here we go. See what that was. All right, 121 again. And that's uh, completely all right because we're running the same exact setup. Now I gotta check the logs on this. Hopefully they're the same, um, same results. And I'm pretty happy that we hit 121. Uh, no cap pack connected. So we're going to see the difference the before and after the cat packs. So I also have my temperature gun. Oh, I guess the fans aren't working today. That's fine. Motors 130. ESC. <laughs> Not even sweating it. All right, pretty good first pass, and that was a success run. All right, test number two. Here we go, let's see what we can do. Except now we have the capacitor pack on. All right, cap pack installed. Let's see what the difference will be. Yeah, I just heard that motor red line. So we ran 121 miles an hour before. <laughs> little increase, 122. Every little bit counts. So let's see what uh, temperatures we got. Now what I'm gonna do after, guys, if you wanna see, I'm going to pull the data log previous run of 121 miles an hour and now this is the 122 only difference is I actually took the heat sink off so we're gonna get more of a realistic temperature yeah 134 that seems about right and still that is ridiculous we're still not even pushing the Bomba Monster X 8s it's not even uh <laughs> it's not even warm that is crazy 105 102 that is awesome. All right, so if you guys are interested, I'm actually gonna pull up the data log right now. Stay tuned. We have the Limitless over here. I pretty much hooked the data log, uh, Castle data log link up to it. And here I have my computer. We did two runs. One run was without the cat pack. The second run, 122, was with it in. So the first run, here we are, and I can't make this up. I'll reset the whole, um, if it wants to not lag. Here, I just reset the whole uh, data log so you guys can see. This is the full two runs that I did. All right, so we're going to signal this one run out. All right, so as you can see, throttle input, going down, going up, full throttle, and then we peaked out, so we hit our red line. And that's, uh, that's pretty much what I want to see in a speed run. And we can look at our stats right here. Pretty solid. All right, so if I move my mouse right on top at the peak of everything, 
if you guys can see that. We're gonna look at this top line right here. That's pretty much at full throttle. Now, with no cap pack, we were at 1.51 volts of ripple. So here we go. If I reset everything, and we're back to our two runs. Now this is the second one with the um, with the cap pack hooked in. 1.11 volts of ripple. That is insane. And that's only two of these little things wired in parallel. And of course, here we go again. We're gonna be at our peak. Our throttle goes up and holds out. That plateau right there, that little line, that's full throttle. So that was held for about two seconds, one and a half seconds, and that's pretty good. The reason why that's 87.1 is because I have to recalibrate the remote, which is completely all right. But all of our temperatures were lower regarding with the cat pack installed. But the total maximum amount of ripple is insane. That's how much I get if I were to just bash and go off road and just use a normal setup. But we're doing 120 miles an hour with this setup. That's insane. That's why I am just super, super hyped about this. Wickedly efficient ESC. Very good job.